We do our best to review our voicemails each day. And here's one from one of our listeners named Pacquiao. My question is, is there any correlation between the prophecy that Jesus said it would be as in the days of Noah and the disclosure of UFOs the government has recently made? I um, just wanted to talk about the fallen angels, and uh, I have a friend who's just constantly asking me these types of questions, and he keeps bringing up that prophecy where Jesus said it'll be as in the days of Noah. He believes that the fallen angels were in the days of Noah and that that's really the last piece of the puzzle we're waiting for in these times. Thank mm. you so much. Yes, I mean, boy, so many people concerned about the end times right now and and questions like this. I appreciate that you've brought this up. UFOs, right? Is is that what Jesus is getting at in Matthew chapter 24, where he says it's, it's going to be like the days of Noah? Now, of course, sounds like your friend takes an, an interpretation on the Nephilim uh, there in the Old Testament prior to the flood, these 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 creatures, if you will. Uh, and, and there's some people who think they're fallen angels that are having relations with people um, and creating this sort of hybrid species, if you will. Look, there, there are a few different interpretations, I think, that are valid interpretations that have been held by Christians throughout the history of the church. The focus there in that passage in, in Genesis is on the wickedness that had increased in the world. And so in, in one sense, I think when Jesus said it's going to be like the days of Noah, that's, that's one of the things that he's getting at. But in the context of his words in Matthew chapter 24, it really is the fact that the, the judgment is going to come and people aren't going to be ready. Um, they're 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 going to be just sort of living their lives like normal, and then the judgment comes and it's going to catch them off guard. So let me just read the text, and I think that'll help you understand it. Uh, Matthew twenty four verse thirty six. But concerning that day and hour, Jesus said, "No one knows, not even the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but the Father only. For as were the days of Noah, so will be the coming of the Son of Man." Now here's how he explains it. For as in those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day when Noah entered the ark, and they were unaware until the flood came and swept them all away, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. And so the focus isn't on, on the Nephilim, and the focus is, is even, uh, even necessarily on the, the increase in wickedness. The focus is on the fact that Jesus is coming as a thief in the night that there are many who are caught off guard, who aren't ready, who aren't prepared. Uh, and that's precisely, again, what he's going to go on to say. Verse 43, But know this, if the master of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore, you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. And so that's that's the focus there. When, when Jesus brings up the days of Noah, it's we need to be vigilant. We need to be watchful. We need to be ready for the coming of the Lord. 